All right, everybody, what's going on? All right, so let's take a look at graphing a function in Google Sheets. All right, so the way that you're going you're gonna to do this is you're going to plot points, okay? So I'm choosing to graph the sine function, okay? So you can see I have my values over here, my x values, and I have them in degrees. This is 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. You can put them in radians, okay? They'd look like decimals. But, you know, you could, they would be decimals, but you can put them in radians or degrees. I just chose to put these in degrees. And then what we have to do is calculate our y values by using the sine function. So I'll hit equals and then sine parentheses. And then I'm going to select A2, close my parentheses and enter. And then to copy this, whoops. And then to copy this down, I just hover my mouse over the bottom right corner here. And if I double click it, it copies the formula down. See, it takes the sine of A3 and so on. Well, these values aren't correct. In other words, the sine of 90 degrees is not this. The sine of 180 is not this. And the problem we have here is that the trig functions in Google Sheets it, ca it wants the angle measure in radians. So we're going to have to convert these to radians. And we can do that in the formula. So let's go ahead and delete those three. And let's just come up here and modify this formula. So to convert from degrees to radians, you got to multiply the degree measure by pi and then divide that by 180. So if I do pi, okay, and then I do a open and close parentheses, that's going to give me pi times the degree measure, okay? And then what, what we can do here is this pi times that angle measure, we can put that in parentheses to let us know that's the numerator, and then divide that by 180 and hit enter. All right. And now let's copy this down and there's our values. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to graph this thing. So what I want to do is highlight the values. Okay. And I want to insert chart. All right. So this comes up. This is what it defaults to. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this a little bit so we can get the whole thing in the screen. Move it over about right there. All right. So we've got this set up and everything. All right. So you can see that use row one as headers. Okay. Well, I want that because that's my X, Y. Okay. Okay. Use column A as labels. What happens if we don't use column A as labels? Well, it looks like it tries to plot everything. But what I want you to notice here is this is a scatter plot. This is what it defaulted to. Well, a scatter plot's not going to work. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change this to a line chart. Okay. Now, I could pick this one. Okay. And you see what happens is it looks like this. All right. Now, there's a couple of ways that I can change this to where it doesn't look like this, where it makes it a smooth curve, where this is curved here and curved here. So I could come down here and choose smooth line chart. Okay. And then the other way is I could go to customize and go to chart style and I could choose smooth here. Okay. So if I pick smooth, you can see how it rounds it off. And then if I choose maximize, that just fills the whole screen. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I like this better. 
And so you can see we got a white background and that looks nice and everything, but we can change the background color. So if I want to, I can change it to any of these colors that I want. I could change it to gray, uh, a darker gray. Let's do, let's change it to black. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So that's, you know, that's pretty much all you're going to want to do in chart style. So now let's go down here to chart and axis title. All right, so let's let's go to the chart title. That's this part right here. So I could just click, double click here and change it. Or over here on chart title, I can come into this text, mo text box and I can just type in Y equals sign X. And so there you have that. Okay. Now you can see that the, the, there's, you know, you can change the font to whatever you want. Okay. We'll just leave it as it is. You can change the font size, uh, the title format, the alignment, bold, italic. Let's, let's change it to bold. And then the text color, that's gray. We can see it and everything, but let's change the color. Let's change it to white. Okay. We can see that better. And then we've got the series. Uh, what this is, is, is we can change the left axis. We can change the thickness. Uh, we can change the, the line type here. We can change it to dashed or whatever we want. We can change, we can throw in points. We can change the, you know, do the points and we can make them different shapes and everything. Uh, I think I like this better with, with no points on it. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that. Uh, so now let's go to the next thing and, and we can do, we can do data labels. Um, I don't think that really looks that good and we can position them. They're center, uh, right, you know, stuff like that. So, but I, I, I think. I think it looks better with when we don't, you know, when we don't have any. So let's just uncheck data labels. And then we've got a legend. Uh, we can put the legend auto. You can see right now it doesn't have a legend. But if you, if you did uh, put one, you come up here to position. You now if you put it on the right, it looks like that. I don't think that looks very good. So let's just leave it none. And then we go to the horizontal axis, uh, treat labels as text. Well, let's see what that does. Well, that, that doesn't look very good. Reverse axis order. That just puts the, the vertical axis over here on the left-hand side. We can put a minimum and maximum value. Uh, we can go from zero to let's say 400 if we wanted to, that just, it just moves it over a little bit uh, but I think just leaving it like it is is fine uh, what else uh, that's well and now let's look at the horizontal axis again you can see over here we, we don't see a label over here well it's there we just need to come over here and change the color so see if we change the color here so there's we can see that uh, and then also let's see okay so you know that that's about all there now w one thing that you that you're probably wondering too is yeah it's showing the numbers here but it's not showing what the x-axis is well it's there if we take this and we double click it watch what this does when we double click it, notice it takes us back up here to chart and axis titles and it, and it chooses the horizontal axis title. Well, we can change this value if we want to. Okay. We can change it to X values. Well, and, but you can't see what's going on because what, what do we need to do? We need to change the text color. You see that? And we can change the font size. I don't know. Let's, let's try 18. That looks good. And, you know, I think we'll change this back to just X. 
And then guess what? The same thing for the Y axis, the vertical axis. Well, instead of going back down here to the bottom to vertical axis, let's just stay up here into the chart and axis titles and let's pull this down. Look at there. There's vertical axis title. So let's change this to white and then let's change this to 18. Okay. So now let's go back down here to vertical axis. See, that's going to give you something. This is going to give you something different than dealing with the vertical axis up here. Okay. All right. So let's come here. Let's change the color here to white. And you can see it gives us the values here. There's zero to one, zero to negative one. And, you know, the same thing. You can change the color. You can make them bold. Uh, you can change the font size, the font. Uh, you can change the minimum and maximum value. Uh, number format. And then if we come over here to grid lines, well, the grid lines on the, let's see, we've got vertical axis here. Well, we've got the major grid lines. We can put in minor grid lines. Say if we wanted to put three, that'll put three between each of the major grid lines. Uh, or we can just leave it as none. It kind of clutters it up a little bit. And then same thing here on the horizontal axis, uh, minor grid lines. Let's choose three. And you can see it puts grid lines there also. But, I mean, I think, I think this graph, for this one anyway, it looks better like this. But, you know, that's really, that's really about it. And when you click out of it and then you know, move it wherever you want in the sheet or you can put it on another sheet or whatever you want to do, but there's your graph. All right. So I hope this video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.